we are finally on our way to Chessington World Adventures here in the UK and we are tired and a little stressed. And I say we, I mean I. Mr. Laid, so laid back, he's horizontal over there, is not stressed at all. He is my stress because he gets really like a sloth. It's true. He is the sloth to my cheetah. seemed to be okay after I said that like it heard me and it was like I will exchange you for the old car and it heard me and was like oh I better behave myself and it seems to be okay-ish now isn't it? it's done it a couple more times but it obviously wants to go to Chessington with us so um we didn't actually we haven't officially named this car yet our old car is called Natalie uh, because she's little feisty and incredibly reliable and if a friend of mine called Natalie's watching this She's gonna yell at me next time I see her. <laughs> um, but we haven't actually named this car <coughs> properly. But it does have incredibly sensitive, um, and what some people would seem deem as oversensitive parking sensors. So it's like as soon as you plug into reverse, it goes beep 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 beep, and I'm like, there is nothing there. I'm literally floating on a cloud. There is nothing behind me. So we nicknamed her Snowflake um, as a joke because lots of people would cast me as a snowflake. Um, Philip less so, and a lot of my friends would be clusters of snowflakes. So it was a little bit of a joke because she has sensitive parking sensors. But the name's kind of stuck because the kids and I all call her Snowflake now. And Phil couldn't really care less, could you? So the car is called Snowflake. It doesn't match her number plate, so that's probably going to upset some people who think that's the right way to behave. Like Phil. <laughs> so we're going to stop in about about 45 minutes for a McDonald's because it's my birthday and I want a Mackey D's. I do like a McDonald's breakfast. So we're gonna do that and I'll catch up with you then. I'm really excited to see my parents who are probably like a million hours ahead of us because they probably left like two hours before we did. Hi Bessie. Hello. Are you excited? Yes. What do you want to go on first? Terrified. 
like my parents are like oh we're about to get wet and I'm like ah! like actually terrified because I'd never been on anything like that before I got to the bottom and my dad was my dad who loves roller coasters and everything like that was like so what do you think like hoping that I would be like him and really love roller coasters and not like my biological mother who doesn't like roller coasters and I was like he'd seen the picture and see my face when I got off I was wet I was still like and I went I want to go again and he was like yes she's my child this is my child <laughs> it was amazing and I've loved roller coasters ever since so there is only one roller coaster I won't go on anymore I mean I give it a go for the sake of you know doing anything once um, and that's air at Thorpe Park. Is it air at Thorpe Park? Is it Thorpe Park? Yeah. It's, or is it Auckland Towers? Um, because it tilts you forward and I don't, the last time I went on it, I think I may be too short for it. Like, I think their height limit should be higher. Um, or maybe I was too slim for it at the time, I don't know. But I didn't sit properly. Everyone else was kind of wedged against their seat and then tilted forward. But I didn't feel like I was wedged against my seat properly and I was like hanging down. And it was terrifying, utterly terrifying. Like in a, oh my God, I'm gonna die kind of way, not in a, oh my God, my adrenaline kind of way. So, yeah. We will see you in a bezel. Say bye, Phil. Bye, Phil. So, darling, we uh, got to the services and there's no McDonald's open. Yeah, that's not okay. But, what was there instead? Starbucks. Starbucks. I have a sausage sandwich and I have a decaf soya pumpkin spice latte oh, with vegan whipped cream, which means it's a fully dairy free fancy latte. Makes up for it, doesn't it? It totally makes up for a lack of McDonald's. And to be honest, this is probably healthier. Probably. Yeah. So. Well, we'll get on our way and we'll be there in uh, 45 minutes or so. Awesome. Let's go. I put cereal on Albus, but Yeah, there was chocolate cereal on my bum too. <laughs> We're here. Hi, Grampy. Hello. Grampy. Hi. Hello, Hi, Grandma. Oh, I've had it. I've had it about a year.
wheel of the year, Charles. No! Why not? What's next in the big wheel of the year? What's our next Sabbath? We've had Maybon, so the next one is Sawain. We put cobwebs up for Sawain, didn't we? Well, we or we rather we leave ours up. Halloween. Hello. Hello. Leopard, how's your birthday going so far? Super duper, it's the best birthday I've ever had. Oh, good. <laughs> Where are you? Wait for me! Open 
without permission, you know, mister. Children's bedroom. The bathroom. Smells a bit weird, not gonna lie. And then mummy and daddy's bed. Lovely. Happy birthday yeah. to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mama. Happy birthday to you. Away from the cake. You. Hip hip away. Hip hip. 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 Hip hip.